S-Tool CT-SYS is a great portable addition to the Festool lineup of dust extractors. But you know, sometimes if you were vacuuming a large area or working with a tool triggered tool, you might find the shoulder strap to be a little awkward. Imagine if you had to climb up on a ladder and sand something. Could even be dangerous. But not to worry, because in a flash, for around 40 bucks and a few minutes of time, we're going to turn the CT SYS into the perfect portable vacuum. Welcome to the Festool CT SYS Portable Backpack Vac Hack Video. To make the ultimate backpack vacuum for your shop, you only need a couple of things. You need the top lid section off of a spare sustainer. Everybody's got one of those. And I'm going to show you how to remove that so it's non-destructive. In fact, the entire hack is non-destructive and non-invasive to your CT CIS. It doesn't get touched at all. I'll show you about that in just a minute. The other thing you're going to need is a backpack frame. And if you don't have one, you can pick these up pretty much anywhere. Now this one is an ALICE frame. ALICE is an acronym that stands for All Purpose Lightweight Individual Carry Equipment. It's a backpack frame. But it was developed for the military and our government loves acronyms. I got this as a new knockoff of an Alice frame and it cost me just a little less than 40 bucks. You can also pick these up at surplus stores for cheap if you're willing to spend a little time looking. Mine came with a pack. I took the pack off and I actually used that separately and I'm using just the frame for this. The only other thing you're going to need is one small bolt, a nut, a washer, and a lock washer. And you should have those laying around the shop. So let me show you how this all goes together. The CT SYS is made to stack on top of a stack of sustainers. So the easiest way to mount this onto a backpack frame is to simply take the top of a sustainer and mount that to the backpack frame. That way you can remove the CT SYS anytime you want to use it in a different method. But this is super easy. This is attached to the frame. The CT SYS sits up here and you turn the little latching lever and you're good to go. Real easy. So let me show you how to remove the top of a sustainer so that you don't destroy it and then we'll look at how it's attached to the backpack frame. The lid on the Festool sustainer is hinged via two small pieces like this that go through the frame of the sustainer through an extension in the lid and back through the sustainer frame. And if you look closely, there's a little raised section formed here that catches here and holds the pin in place. And it's very easy to remove. I'm going to take the, the uh, formed tray out just to make a little more space. And you just squeeze that pin right where that little raised section is, wiggle it and push it and it'll release itself and you can pull it right out. That way if you ever want to put your lid back on your sustainer for some reason, you can snap that back in and you're good to go. When you remove the lid from the sustainer, you may also want to go ahead and remove this cardboard piece that shows you the layout of your tools in the sustainer. You just pull these little uh, white little button thingies out. Strong fingernails help. And 
that cardboard will pop right out of there, as you can see. Once you have your lid removed, the next step is simply to attach it to the backpack frame. Now, I have got this one so that the latch is at the bottom of the frame. And that works out really good. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to work with. And you'll notice there's one screw here. And also notice that it's on this recessed part of the sustainer and it's above the handle. The handle will close all the way and this will not interfere with the CT CIS latching onto the top of the frame. And if I turn the backpack frame around, you'll see a nut, a lock washer, and a washer here. All I did was drill one small hole through the backpack frame and through the top of the sustainer and ran the bolt through and tightened that up. And let me show you how I attach the bottom real quick and easy. To attach the bottom of the frame, I simply drilled a hole through the reinforcement webbing of the sustainer lid, get a little more light on here, and used a wire tie up through one of the holes in the Alice backpack frame and back down and tightened up those two wire ties. And really that's not supporting a lot of weight, it's just keeping the thing from flopping around. And I've been using this for a couple of months now and it's working great. You may come up with a more elegant solution, but for me that worked out just fine. And that was it. By the way, the Alice backpack frame includes this handy web belt that can be snapped around your waist and that helps to relieve the weight on your shoulders if you're using the unit for a long period of time. And I guess if you kind of tighten this up it might help give you that svelte look you've been looking for. Well whether you're using a power tool or just generally cleaning up your shop, the CT CIS Backpack Vac Hack is going to turn this into the ultimate vacuuming machine. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.